Let me just touch on this briefly. Next week, we'll have Marcy Wheeler on the program to talk about this uh, in a greater detail. But what has happened with Manafort over the uh, past couple of days is a big, big deal. Here is the two or three minute wrap up. You'll recall in September, Mueller made a big plea deal with Paul Manafort, stripped Paul Manafort of all his, his assets. He's broke now. Uh, totally broke, but $46 million came in, paid for the Mueller investigation. Okay. They said uh, they got him on a couple of charges. They got him off on another charges, but it was all contingent upon him being truthful and providing good information. So yesterday or the day before, Mueller announces, guess what? Paul Manafort's been lying to us. We know he's been lying to us. We are going to lay out at his sentencing hearing because we want him now to go to jail. All of the details about what he lied to us. And at that time, it became apparent that Mueller didn't even need Manafort to prove whatever they needed to prove because they knew everything that he was giving them was a lie. And then the question becomes, why would you do that? Why would Paul Manafort lie to Mueller? Well, Manafort is not the brightest. He has gotten away with this stuff for decades. He thought he could pull the wool over Manafort, uh, over Mueller's eyes. He's banking on a pardon from the Trump administration. And by copping a plea, he doesn't have to pay for lawyers who are litigating all these cases. And if he knows he's getting a pardon, he knows he's getting a pardon. How does he know he's getting a pardon? There's probably some contact with the Trump administration. But that means the flow of information is going two different ways. Manafort is finding out he's going to get a pardon. And maybe Manafort is sending back information the other way to Donald Trump, telling him that what's going on with the investigation? What are they asking? What is Manafort saying in his lies? Unfair. Right? So it comes out today in The Guardian that Paul Manafort was visiting Julian Assange in the embassy since 2013. Probably doing all sorts of different type of work with WikiLeaks in some way. Unless he was just a real fan of WikiLeaks. Felt Fred's very Fred's strongly Fred's about Fred's the work they were doing uh, with Chelsea Manning. <laughs> right? He was looking for hacked emails. He was looking for information or other things. By 2016, he visits right before in the month of March. A lot of things go down in March. Right after he visits Julian Assange, the phishing email leads to the hack of Podesta's personal email. Trump names Papadopoulos, Page, Carter Page as advisors. Papadopoulos lunches with Misfud or Mifsfud, and Putin's niece. <laughs> Papadopoulos just went to jail, incidentally. Manafort named the unpaid convention manager, all within 10 or 15 days of that meeting. 20 days. Mueller probably knew all this. There is apparently videotape. I'm saying that only because it, nobody said that, but they are, there's a description of what Manafort was wearing when he went into the embassy. Here's the thing. If it's the case that Manafort was sending back information to Trump, this is what I'm telling Mueller. We're really pulling the wool over this guy's eyes. Donald Trump probably intook that information and then spewed it back out when he wrote his written questions, written answers to the questions that Mueller had asked him, which was submitted last week. So you understand the dynamic here. This is a case of a teacher giving a test. I'm going to give a special test to you, Matt, because uh, you're going to be sick or you're going away. So we're going to give you the test five days early. Here's the test, Matt. You fill it out. You go tell your buddies what's on the test. 
I'm they all set, fill it out. I'm all set for the test. They, Thanks, they write in the answers for the test. But it turns out your teacher pulled a fast one on you, Matt. Teacher knew that you were of not a terribly. Um, it's a bit uh, disturbing how much you scrupulous. enjoy this. I, it's, I think it's amazing. If this is actually what happened, Matt, um, he gave you a fake test to see if you would pass it to your buddy. And when that test came back from your buddy, he realized he did. Except for the difference here is not just that you flunk, it's that you've purged yourself about stuff they already knew. And they had the worst cover up ever. <laughs> We will be talking. We will be talking to Marcy Wheeler about this in about four or five days. Hopefully, not too much more will happen. But uh, this is going to be. Uh, this is. We're we're headed towards Crazyville. Crazyville. Yeah. That, that's what he said. I, I, that's what I said. That's obviously what the, the our position is. Yeah. <laughs> Incidentally, Paul Manafort is going to. Um, probably spend the better part of the rest of his days in prison. Unless there, of course, is a pardon, but it turns out a lot of those uh, things that uh, Mueller will now be recharging Manafort with are also um, state violations as well. And Manafort has no cash um, to fight those. It's going to be tough. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back.